Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Kaze in the Wild Masks, or possibly K's in the Wild Masks. My guess is Kaze, but we'll see when we get into the game, hopefully. I don't know if I'll actually pronounce it in game, but if they do that'll help and then I'll know how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, you'll notice that I have a little webcam in the corner here. Um, this is something I'm experimenting with. I figured I wouldn't add it to any of the like ongoing series because it might be a bit like discon discontinuous, a bit jarring to suddenly have my face here. Um, but First Thoughts isn't really a series as such, it's just me playing a bunch of different games, so I figured I'd start doing it in this one too. Hello! <laughs> um, I'm using OBS uh, instead of the Elgato capture software for this, and it is so much better, it's absurd. Like, I don't even need a TV to pass through to, I'm just having OBS do its projector thing to show the game on another screen, and it's just working perfectly, just no problems at all. OBS is great. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get started. So yeah, this game, um, it's an indie title. It released, I think, yesterday, maybe the day before. Um, it's, uh, sort of a side, it's a side-scrolling platformer, sort of like Donkey Kong Country, apparently. Um, which I liked. That's a good game, so hopefully this one is good too. Uh, I believe that bunny character we can see on the thumbnail there, I believe that is Kaze. Um, or K's. We'll find out how her name is pronounced, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played the game at all. Um, I have looked at like the trailer and it was like, this looks cool, but I haven't played it, so. Winners eat all their veggies. <laughs> Pixel Live Studio. <laughs> Okay, we've got a title screen. Um, I still don't know whether it's car cars or whether it's K's or Kaze. I was hoping it would say the name of the game on the title screen. Doesn't seem to. Uh, let's see. We got jump. We can remap the controls if we want. Attack is Y. Jump is B. That sounds good. Uh, we can change the level of rumble. That's way too much. Twenty was a good default. Go back to twenty. There we go. <laughs> I know you can't see the rumble, but it was too much. <laughs> uh, audio settings, we can adjust the volume, language, uh, there's a decent number of languages in here, geez. I don't speak any of these except English, so we'll go with that. And the credits. Created by some people, yeah. But we'll look at that later, or not at all. <laughs> okay, let's start the game. Okay, we get three save slots, which is nice. Um, you can just use another user on the Switch to get more save slots, um, but it's nice to be able to use them as, as you. Uh, extra hearts and checkpoints for those. Okay, so this is a casual mode and an original mode. So, I'm, I'm glad it's encouraging you to play either. Um, I kind of wish they presented this, this one as a bit less being, this is the true way to play. Um, like, in assist mode, for example, for Odyssey, it's not so saying, you know, this is, this is like the easy mode or anything, it's just here is another option. Um, I'm gonna go with original mode, but yeah, I, I like that games do this kind of thing. Uh, let's dive on in. There goes Bunny. I'll just call her Bunny. Zapped by the ring. Oh. Oh dear. Bad and naughty ring.
Okay, getting warped out of the Sky City. Right. Hey, I think I know what's going on. Sort of. Bunny, 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 bunny. Okay. Cranky carrots. Oh, it's a menu. It's a level select. You have the same options? Pretty much. Album? This is empty. I assume we're gonna get... Oh, the cutscenes appear down here and then... I don't know, maybe concept art or something? Uh, we'll, we'll see. Let's start Cranky Carrots. Always go backwards. <laughs> okay, so you jump different heights depending how long you hold the button. If you just tap it, you do a little jump. Uh, my attack seems to be a spinny thing. That's pretty good. Uh, it's not really affected by the other things I'm doing. Oh, hello. Yeah, a bit of a propeller if I press the attack button in midair, which is nice. Press Y to attack. I'm getting a bunch of these crystals, I know what they do. Uh, you can use either the D-pad or the analog stick, it doesn't seem to make a big difference. Uh, you just sort of pick up speed as you run for a little while. Uh, which I guess makes sense, but I don't super like that way of doing things. 3D World works like that too, and it bothered me. I got a heart? Oh, it's a shield. Okay. Shield and that little, little friend. Is that like the demon from inside the ring, or... Is that my friend that got captured? A little unclear. Hello, big carrot. Yeah, there's some cranky carrots here, alright. There's a K. Oh, I gotta spell my own name because it's like a Donkey Kong country. There's something down there. Reach it. Shoulder buttons don't do anything, by the way. The game seems quite simple. Very pretty sprites, though, that look very good. Like a secret exit or something? Ooh. Well, I found something. Bonus stage. Collect all crystals. Oh, a time limit. I'm bad at those. I think this first one will be very easy, though, so it should be okay. Yeah. Okay, so will there be a second bonus stage? Is that what that's telling me? Hmm. I don't know if there's something down there that I don't know how to reach. Can I just go through here? Oh, I can. Okay, that's easy then. <laughs> I'm not sure what these uh, red things are. I'm getting close to getting 100 of them. I wonder if they'll get, give me like an extra life or something? I don't think I have lives in this game though. Which is good because I think lives are anachronistic and I don't think they belong in video games, but that's a story for another time. Possibly this time. We'll see. <laughs> I'm being silly. Uh, jump. Hello. There we go. This thing. Is this a checkpoint? I'm guessing it's a checkpoint. You can see why this was easy to translate. There's very little text. Um, like the story, there wasn't any narration or anything. It was just cutscenes happening. That's why there were so many languages, I'm guessing, because they didn't really need to do a whole lot for each one. Is the bubble shield, like, time limited? I don't think I've actually taken a hit. But I haven't got the bubble shield anymore. This is the other bonus stage. <laughs> Beat five enemies. Okay, so they do different things at different times. I mean, cranky carrots. Uh, 
I'm done. Okay, we have the whole thing now? I assume that's good. <laughs> I don't know what it does yet. Oh, I like that parallax effect. That looks nice. Okay, I have over a hundred of these things and nothing happens, so... I don't know if you just collect a lot of them and maybe there'll be a shop or something I can spend them in? I don't know. And this will be the end of the level? Yeah. Oh, I see. If you get a hundred, you get... Okay. Get an extra gem at the end if you get up to a certain quota. Kind of like um Rayman Origins. Okay, so I've done everything in that level. Oh, album? Going in the album now? Yeah, it's concept art. Cool. Alright. Um, on to level two, I suppose. Jelly Jungle. A lot of love went to this game. It's very pretty. Got a lot of polish and it looks good. It looks good. And it controls very nicely as well. Cars A does mostly what I want. I'm pressing A instead of B because I'm a fool. There we go. Uh, hello, eggplants. I'm guessing their explosion can hurt me, just from the way it looks. Avoid that. Okay, so there's lots of different collectibles to get in each level. I don't know if they stay collected if you've already got some of them. That's what happens in the later Donkey Kong countries. Like returns and tropical freeze. Oh, I have a smash down, smash attack? I sure do. Bam. Definitely giving me Donkey Kong Country vibes. It feels a lot like it controls very similarly to Returns and Tropical Freeze, which is good. Those games control well. We go. Oop! Watch out for that. What is that? Like some beans? Is it, a, is it a trio of beans? Checkpoint. It would be nice to have some idea of like if I'd missed things. Um. Like the collectibles in uh, certain other games, like um, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, they're like numbered. Um, same thing with like um, the new Super Mario Bros. games, you know which of the star coins you've got and which you haven't. Uh, I've probably done that faster, but I just got a little scared. <laughs> and it looks like you are supposed to speedrun these levels, there was like a time, a best time thingy on the, on the main menu for the level I already did. I'm guessing the heart gives you uh, this little demon that follows you, and that's like your extra hit point. Ow! Yeah, that's what it is. Took some damage. It said no damage as a reward on the previous one, so I may need to replay this level. <sighs> What's up there? I've reached that. You'll be coming back around that way. Okay, we've got another bonus stage. Here we go. Collect all the crystals. Oh no, uh, yes. Okay, this is a little bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Took a couple tries, but I did it. Does that mean I missed the first one? So it's on the right side? Hmm. I want to have to go back and have a bit of a look around. Okay, that's a hole. Plan a hole.
don't have the... Yeah, I do. Hmm. The first one was... Ow. Okay, so it gives you a bubble shield, but the shield is, like, invisible. It's just the demon following you that lets you know that you've got it. There's something up there, but I don't know if I can reach it. Ow. Can I smash attack these guys? No. It's worth a try, though. And if you get a heart when you already have the little demon, you just get some extra red crystal thingy. How am I supposed to get up there? Hmm. Can't move the jelly, for sure. That's the one I already did. Hmm. I need to replay the level and have another look around, I guess. That's okay, though. something there. I need to come back to that from the other side. And then... Yeah, I meant to come back, right. Okay. This. To get the E. Oops. Oh dear. Yeah, you don't keep you don't keep any of the collectibles when you die, but looks of things except for the green um, bonus stage. What's it? It's kind of interesting choice. They do respawn, so you get them again when you when you're going through. But still, and it looks like there are no lives, which is nice. slide under that guy by pressing attack, which makes no sense, because that's not what that button does. Try to hit the exit correctly this time. There we go. Level clear. Okay, I got that. Or half of that. I got enough for that. So I still get the concept out, but I don't get all the green. I'm gonna compare it to the first one. All right, you get a crown for not taking any damage, and you get the green thing for doing the green thing. I see how it works. Um, have a look at the next bit. Go on from there. What's happening here? Is this like a hidden level? Yeah, it says one out of six. You probably need to get all the greens in the world in order to unlock that or something like that. That's my guess anyway. Let me go into the next level. The game is very cute. Thorny tree. One four. Uh, we got more, more carrots. Get that little carrot. What you get for not making people see in the dark. That was just a myth. Actually, the British Air Force, like, made that up on purpose to make uh, Germany think that they that was how they were uh, spotting their planes. They actually had radar on their planes. That was, the, that was the secret. So they insisted it was carrots instead. Keep that secret secret. A fun little fact. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, I've got a bird mask? Oh, right, right, this game is called Kaze, Kaze and the Wild Masks, so I get masks sometimes. That makes sense. Okay, so now I can fly using my ears. Yeah, the controls are alright. I have a ranged attack now, which is neat. Let's pop them. Yeah.
Can I hurt that guy? Or is it not work? Nah, they're immune to my hurts. Ow. Got bonus stage here. Will it be a flying based bonus stage or will it be regular Kaze once we're in the thing? It's flying based! Oh, I see, the counter goes down to let you know how many you've got like left to collect. That makes sense. There we go. That is the left piece, so I haven't missed it. Good. I have taken damage, unfortunately, so I will not get a crown for this level yet. It'll probably take me a couple tries for most levels. The first one is just very easy. Okay, so now we're doing uh, some bramble scrambling. Shame they couldn't license Sticker Brush Symphony. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> probably very expensive, though. Knowing Nintendo. But also maybe Rare? I don't know who owns the rights to the songs from... A different country. Ow! Here's the other bonus stage. We're in this stage defeat nine enemies. Flying enemies, probably. Yep. Here they come. Attack is very slow. Oh dear. This is hard. <laughs> the difficulty crept up very quickly. We got it. Good for us. Alright. We want to get a hundred of those again. I don't know if it's the same for every level, but that would make sense. But over a hundred, so we should. Ow! Unless that happens, of course. Back to the checkpoint. Okay, we kept the green thing, that's all we kept. There was a bonus stage over here, but I already got it. Oh, go down the hole. There we go. <laughs> Backwards, but I'm not. This flag, like, oh, there's an arrow up there. There we go. Okay, he's not noticed the arrow. Okay, 
Okay, then we get to here, which is where the first bonus zone was. And, and the ladder just here. Okay, I've just timed that correctly and it's not hard at all. I'm getting better at this, slowly. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Down here, out of this guy's way. Yeah, aiming the projectile as the bird is a little fiddly. the exit. Level clear. We got all the letters, so we get the gold thing, get the green thing, we get the, get the pink thing. We don't get the crown because I took some damage. I'm liking this. Uh, I would like to see a bit less linearity. Um, right now the world map is just one solid line, kind of like in Mario 3D Land. Hopefully it branches a bit more. Maybe it'll do that later. Uh, there is a secret level, but that's a similar way to how 3D Land worked, really. Okay, can I grab one of these things? I sure can! <laughs> With my ears! <laughs> oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that's adorable. Uh, rest wide to fall? Okay. Hello, bad and naughty carrot. Oh, I see. Pick it up. Take it with me, using my ears. Ah! Take this naughty tomato. Down here. There's the A. What are those guys? Like, I know there's some kind of vegetable, but I, I don't recognize them. Bonus zone. Like tall crystals? Okay, so we're doing some more hanging, because that makes sense. I want the Z. Do I just grab it like that? I guess so. I have it. <laughs> Checkpoint. Its spot has a heart on it. Got a heart in it as well. That makes sense. <laughs> How are we doing? K A Z. I don't know if it's Kaze or K's. Where are you guys going? Mm, we're still short on little 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 pink jemmies, so let's keep our eyes peeled. And I guess our ears um flexing. <laughs> oh look at those ears. Adorable. Oh hello. I see you there, bonus zone. Lectal crystals again, huh? Okay, so we're doing some laddery things this time. Oop. Oh 
I'm trying to get multiple in one jump. There we go. But it was proving tricky. For some reason. I wish the timer would stop when you finish the puzzle, but it does not. There we go. Hmm. It, it reminds me of the mystery boxes in 3D World, and also, I guess, the bonus challenges in Donkey Kong Country. But in this game, you can try again if you mess it up, which is nice. Just automatically says, hey, try again, and you say, yes, please, and you try again. It's good. Up, 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 up. Ah! Okay, I didn't plan that out quite well enough. It was a bit of a blind jump, though, in my defense. Ah, there we go. There we go. How are we doing for the letters? We still need the E, and we still need some more. Minus do anything? Minus is also pause. Plus and minus do the same thing. Okay, well there's the E. We need that. Look how determined she looks when she's hanging. Like, you know you're hanging with your ears from a vine, right? It's really silly. But no, she looks very serious. <laughs> Do over a hundred? The so, dust. <laughs> Heck yeah, we made it. Level clear. We got both halves with the green. We got plenty of pink. Good for us. <laughs> this game is very cute. Happy bunny. Oh, lights on, lights off, huh? Uh, well, that's terrifying. No one wants to eat me. Oh, I see. The enemies get disabled by the... the light being on. Just like that one level in Donkey Kong Country. Stop and go station, I think. Is that the one? Ow. Oh, jeez. I don't like these corns. <laughs> They're scary. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oop. Oh, jeez. Game's getting hard. I'm glad you restart very quickly when you die, though. Oh, you can't spin into those guys because of their teeth. Right, they're, they're clap traps, of course. They're clap traps, but they're corn. you got these pineapple guys. I didn't know that pineapples only came out at night. Just a fun fact I've now learned. are a huge threat. <laughs> My god. Oh dear. Oh, watch out for these guys. now, my friendly pineapple. Oh, are vegetables actually the natural enemy of rabbits? 
in real life, like, I don't know, that doesn't seem probable. Okay, we're at the checkpoint. Ah, pineapple. Oh my goodness gracious. Just a lot going on. <laughs> It's a very busy game. I like that I have the propeller all the time, that's very helpful. Dang it. Back to the checkpoint. The game is a lot of fun, but it's also very hard. Ow. Pineapples. Okay, we got the Z. Gracious. I don't think I've seen any bonus areas in this level yet. Ow! Right? Yeah, I haven't found any. That's where they are. Ugh, dang it. That won't help. Yeah, that was gonna happen. <sighs> It definitely reminds me of Freedom Planet, which is good because that game is also great. <laughs> uh, it's not really that similar to Freedom Planet, but it's a lot of fun. And you know, you're playing as a cute animal and all that. Ah! Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have gone with casual modes or had some more checkpoints to work with. I don't think you can switch it mid-game, unfortunately. Ah, I meant to 12, but instead I ground pounded. The controls are a little janky sometimes, unfortunately. Pretty much just that one control actually. Sometimes I ground pound when I'm trying to twirl because they're the same button. I don't think it ever happens in reverse either, it's just that way round. Ow. Trouble is the level makes you rush because of the way it works. You gotta go quick so that the pineapples don't get you. Then you get hurt by stuff all, all the time because you're going so quick. Oh my god. 
this. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Ground pound. Jump. Hold, hold, hold. Uh. Lights on. Goodbye, pineapples. Dead. Okay. Whew. Okay. Lights on. Ride the platform with the pineapple. There we go. Okay. Hit the ease. We need to get here and grab it. Doing this one damageless would be ridiculous. But apparently that's what you got to do. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is so hard. jump over that guy so I can get in front of him, but I'm not lining it up right. Let me just see what we've got going on here. Okay. Lights on, 12. Lights on. Jump over this guy. There we go, like that. We jump over this guy. Down there. Oh god, they're so fast. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think I got all the letters. Yes. But I didn't get enough of those, and I didn't get any green things. I don't know what any of that would be. Very well hidden. That level was hard. Beam Bay. I'm wondering if this will have separate worlds, or if it's like one big flow of levels. I guess we'll see. I'm having a lot of fun, but also this is really hard. Oh, you can't actually see the loading icon because it's covered by my webcam. I hadn't noticed that. Hang on, I'll move the webcam to the other side so you can get a look. There we go. Uh, next time it loads, you'll see it. <laughs> The webcam started on that side, but then I had to move it because um, the left side was covering something else in Bioshock. But now I've moved it back. <laughs> okay, we want to bop these guys in the head, I guess. Okay, yeah, we can do that.
Oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. Bouncing on enemies is hard. Oh, you have to press the button. Okay, that makes it a bit easier. Hang on. And we're back. Dang it, Kaze, Kays, Bunny. I still don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, so close. Okay, so you, there are exactly eleven enemies. I wasn't sure. There we go, that's the way you do it. On we go. Okay, so swimming time, I guess. Press Y to dive. Oh, I see. So you press Y, Kaze drops down and, and, and swims back up automatically. You can't stay underwater. It's not like full swimming controls. It's just she floats on the surface. You can tap the button to dive under when you want to dive under. Ow. Yeah, if you could stay diving, that would be a lot easier, but you can't. Uh, is there anything back here? Always go back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like I said, uh, oh, they make a little raft. I guess that makes sense. Okay, we already have the green thing because that stays collected, but nothing else does. Ah, dang it. Yeah, the swimming controls are a little fiddly. It's gonna take a bit, get, bit of getting used to. If it let me like dive down when I wanted to, that would be a lot simpler, but it doesn't. Unfortunately. Okay, so I have to go back to get the K. I can't kill those guys, otherwise that would be the easiest way to do this. Mm. Oh, dang it. You can take a lot more hits in the Donkey Kong Country, like the recent ones. In the, in the originals it was still two hits, but in Returns and Tropical Freeze you can take like Three hits, I think. And and that's like if you only have the one Kong. If you have two Kongs, you get like six hits. Let's see if we can kill these guys. Stop him? Nope. Okay, it was worth a try. Now I know that I can't do it. How serious this little cute bunny looks. Look at that face. Okay, there we go. That's how you do that. There we go. Ah, 
Okay, shark form. Here we go. Shark form. Now I can swim properly. Probably. Yes. Ow. Oh, God damn. <laughs> oh, that's a checkpoint. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, so yeah, in shark form you just swim uh, around automatically. You can just push any direction. You can press the uh, Y button to do a little boost thingy. Or you can hold B to accelerate. Oh, I see. It makes your little ears flap. Bonus stage. Plenty of time to do this one. There's not a whole lot of crystals to get. I mean, they kind of are, but they're all the close together, so it's not a big deal. See? Easy. And we are back. Uh, looks like being in shark form doesn't take away your normal land abilities, which is nice. And yeah, that's an attack. You can whirl through things. That's a checkpoint. <laughs> I like how they have little snorkels. <laughs> it's very cute. I assume I can't spin into the snipe, it's not the spiky guys in water either, since I keep seeing them acting like obstacles that I probably shouldn't spin through. The onions are fine though. I think they're onions. Ow. That makes sense to use the analog stick for this bit. I've been using the D-pad, but because it's, you know, a 2D platformer, it makes sense, but the analog stick is a bit more logical here. What with the steering around in all the directions kind of thing. There we go. Oh, oh, there's the E. Give me that E. Oh. <laughs> Give me that back to the checkpoint. Okay. Yeah, I think, like, for recording purposes, if nothing else, using the casual mode might make it for better viewing, because you don't need to see the same stuff quite as often. What are those things? Onions? Tomatoes? A squash? I don't know. Like, they're red, like a tomato, but the way they're shaped, they look like an onion. To me, anyway. Excuse me, spiky friends. I need to get through here, and I do not wish to be spiked by you. I have my little demon, so I will not die, but I do not wish to be spiked. In case. Okay. Yeah, this is much easier with the analog stick. Very smooth. Very precise. Pull around and go wherever we want. There we go. Okay, how are we doing for 94? Hmm. I guess we missed some. Don't know where though. Level clear. where the others would be. Right, defeating enemies doesn't give you uh, pink, pink gems or whatever, but that's not what it is. 
Oh, a boss battle. Here we go. Mother Mona. Okay, there's the loading icon. I didn't realize my webcam was covering it until just then, but yeah, it's very cute. Mother Mona, 1-8. Uh, I can't move. Oh no, it's a big spiky. I'm for bullet hell. Oh! Oh, that's what that means. Okay. But, ow! Oh, oh, I see. I meant to climb up on the vines to jump on her head. Okay. I can do that. Ow. Shouldn't have jumped. Okay, then these guys come out. I'll fight for them. Not a big deal. Ah! This game is hard. Okay, then this comes down, we climb up on the vines, and then we bop her on the head. Like this. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, slightly different pattern of these guys. Side. I climb up these. Nice and quick, there we go. Okay, uh, then these guys again. Probably in a more difficult to dodge arrangement. Eh, sort of. Shoot like that. And then you fall down here, and then I climb the vines. Up your head. Okay. That's the first boss, I guess. friends. Oh, I like that bird. Cute. I assume there's a damage, like, damageless crown for that too, but I took a hit. So. Oh, oh, the bird's gonna take me to the next world. Thank you, little bird. Cotton Grove. Oh, I see. Six out of six, four out of six, four out of seven, one out of one. Let's have a quick look at World 2 and then I'm going to wrap up the video. Ooh, the Frozen Mountains. Lighting Salad. Let's just look at the album. Um, I don't want to dive into the next world just yet. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of those, so now we have a bunch more concept art. Oh, 
And there's also two cutscenes now because we saw that second one. So yeah, uh, this is Ka Ka Kaze. I'm, I'm going to assume it's Kaze in the Wild Masks. Uh, oh no, she's annoyed at me for not pressing any buttons. Oh, look at that animation. Oh, big yawn. Oh, she's sleepy. <laughs> this game is so cute. <laughs> but yeah, that's Kaze in the Wild Masks. It's um, it's a lot like Donkey Kong Country. It's also kind of like Freedom Planet. Um, got a super cute bunny as the protagonist. It's super fun. Um, it's real hard in some parts. In the first world at that, usually the first world is super easy. I don't know how long this game is, but uh, this much of it is super fun. <laughs> um, and I would highly recommend it, because it looks pretty great. Um, yeah, so again that name, it's Aze and the Wild Masks. And it just came out, I think it's on Steam as well, so if you want to get it there, you can get it there. But yeah, it's on Switch. And it's super fun. And I've played it for an hour now, and I'm really enjoying it. And I think it's a good game. <laughs> but yeah, um, check it out if you're interested. And yeah, there is a casual option there on the... If I go back to the title screen, if it'll let me switch over. Let me have a quick look. It might be you have to play the whole game again, but... That would probably make sense. Yeah, it looks like it. It still says original mode. Right, that makes sense. I put me back here on the last level I completed. <sighs> but yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! Bye! I don't, I'm not used to having to wave. I don't know where my hand should be. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, that's this game. Oh, she's yawning again. Oh, sleepy bunny. Adorable. So yeah, um, check this game out if you like platformers, if you like Donkey Kong Country, if you like cute animals, if you like bunnies, if you don't like your vegetables. <laughs> I don't know, I'm talking nonsense. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Bye!